in uh, Western society, one out of three people will die of a cardiac or a vascular disease. And at the Department of Physiology at the VU University Medical Center, we try to uh, investigate uh, what causes cardiac disease. And one of the main frequent changes we know of is obesity, which leads to diabetes, and your vessels will change, and as a cause of that, you may develop heart failure. And another frequent cause which we investigate are the inherited cardiomyopathies. We collaborate with people in the clinic, so we get uh, patient questions and then we try to find new targets for treatment in our laboratory setting. We have a good, complete translational research line. Diastolic heart failure is a form of heart failure that is caused by stiffening of the cardiac muscle. The muscle becomes so stiff that the heart cannot fill at low pressures. It has to fill at high filling pressures and it causes the patient to become short of breath and eventually get into pulmonary edema. We took small biopsy samples of patients with diastolic heart failure and then we isolated single cardiomyocytes out of the biopsies. The single myocyte gets attached to a lever and attached to a force transducer. And you can measure two types of forces. The force which the myocyte develops when it just gets passively extended and the force which the myocyte develops when it gets stimulated with calcium. Now what we saw in diastolic heart failure is that the passive force, the force upon extension, was greatly increased whereas the active force development was completely preserved. At present there is no therapy available for more than 50% of all heart failure patients entering our hospitals in western countries. If we can succeed in developing the molecules into the clinical arena which we now know to be responsible for the stiffness and which are correcting the stiffness in the isolated setup. If we can get these molecules into the clinical arena, I think the outlook is going to be tremendous. I'm studying the molecular mechanisms which are involved in atrial fibrillation. And uh, with this knowledge, we try to identify novel treatment possibilities for patients. The cardiomyocytes or the heart cells of Drosophila are completely comparable to human heart cells. So I electrical stimulate the heart cells of Drosophila, I create atrial fibrillation in Drosophila, and we give the Drosophila novel drugs to test their efficacy in preventing atrial fibrillation. We recently funded an atrial fibrillation innovation platform. This is a platform where researchers, cardiologists, electrophysiologists from the clinic and also patients communicate with each other. Patients have a lot of knowledge about their own disease and they can help to co-create new therapies for themselves. Patients are well educated and we can think about all the possibilities uh, in, in the research uh, itself. I think we have, we have an important role in it. My research focus is on inherited cardiomyopathies and understanding how these diseases which start as a, a genetic mutation in one of the genes that encode contractile proteins lead to a cardiac disease or malfunctioning heart. In vitro side we study muscle mechanics, uh, basic muscle function to molecular studies, uh, but we also do imaging studies in patients. There's no treatment for these patients. We can only uh, slow down the disease, but we can't treat it. So that's the goal of our research, to find treatments. Our research on microvascular problems is focused on endothelial cells. So these are the cells that line all our blood vessels. And we like to understand how these cells regulate perfusion, so the blood flow through tissues, and the permeability of the blood vessel, so the leakage of plasma to the tissues. The assays we developed to study microvascular uh, disease are focused on measuring endothelial permeability in very high resolution uh, using biochemical and biophysical technology in combination with super resolution imaging. We also develop assays to make blood vessels outside the body so endothelial tunnels, which we can perfuse with blood and plasma, and can test uh, responses of endothelial cells in such a setting with very high relevance for clinical disease. The Department of Physiology has a unique position because it bridges uh, clinical research with preclinical mechanistic studies. And we are fully equipped uh, with a whole range of uh, technologies to study uh, both muscle function 
and perfusion uh, to understand how perfusion problems uh, translate to patient pathology. My research is focused on causes of cardiovascular complications of obesity and type 2 diabetes in order to identify the people who are at risk of cardiovascular disease uh, and to intervene early to uh, protect their vessels and their heart. Ultrasound is a very powerful tool to measure organ blood flow to organs like the brain and the heart. And if you can measure that blood flow, you can also uh, detect when blood flow is insufficient uh, in people with type 2 diabetes or obesity and then uh, measure whether uh, medication is effective in improving uh, blood flow to an organ. We collaborate with doctors uh, to translate those findings into better cures for patients, but also we collaborate with local government to help uh, prevent cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. And that is a unique position in the Dutch community. We really want to train young people, so we provide a research environment where we train a PhD students and postdocs, and we really want to emphasize what they do in the laboratory will eventually end up in the clinic. The department has a lot of opportunities for me to collaborate with the clinical departments. This provides us also a state-of-the-art infrastructure uh, to obtain biopsies and do measurements in those biopsies. Inside the department we have got a lot of uh, different research topics, which gives me the opportunity to uh, get a really broad scientific research experience. Our future mission is to treat everyone who suffers from cardiac or vascular disease. Uh, but most importantly, it's really to, to intensify the close collaboration with the clinicians and also to train uh, the clinical people in doing research to come to a targeted treatment for the heart failure patients.